Hello everyone, my name is Megan. I am an illustrator slash graphic designer of Tinker and Teal. Um, I don't really know how to start this video because this is my first time doing a vlog and I've just kind of decided just to go for it. Um, it, it. I'm usually like behind the scenes, I'm scared to show my face, I'm uncomfortable, I'm very insecure of my looks and the sound of my voice and <clears throat> I mostly try to just share my illustrations and not show my face but um, I, over the last two years I've really been wanting to get into vlogs. Um, I started following Catnip Studios which is a very big illustrator on YouTube. If you have not followed her you need to because she's very very inspiring. Um, <clears throat> if Catnip if you do happen to see this I love you. I so freaking love you. <laughs> um, she is amazing and uh, she tries to share as much as she can. She helps people out as much as she can and her journey is just amazing to see um, as an artist how she carries herself, how she carries her business. It's something that I want to inspire to be and I want to inspire other people's to be to be as well. And um, I've always put this off um, I've always been afraid, like I said, I don't really feel comfortable showing my face and I, I, I don't know what it's called, but there's something where someone just like hates the sound of their voice and that's me. Like I really hate the sound of my voice. Um, I am a mom of four. I have a 15 year old, a 13 year old. He actually just turned 13, um, on Wednesday, yesterday. <laughs> Um, and I have a 10 year old and a six year old daughter. So I have three boys and one girl and they keep me extremely, extremely busy. Um, when I'm not doing my digital designs, I am working freelance for a company and, um, I am also, I have a sticker stationary business, which has kind of been sitting sedentary. It's not, I don't, haven't really done anything with it. Um, and that's what's kind of got me into this state that I'm in now, that I want to do vlogs. I want to start doing more illustrations. I want to start working on my, my stationary brand. And I don't know, something just sort of clicked. I've been in this, um, kind of rut because we all were sick for like the last two months and we all ended up getting like strep twice, um, in a row. And... I don't know, I just, for whatever reason, I have, like, um, really bad anxiety issues I take medication for, um, and I just got this thought in my mind, like, if I ever lose my freelance, like, what am I gonna do, you know, like, my husband, he has a small business, too, but his is still growing, just like mine, um, I've been working on mine for... 10 years, 10 to 12 years, I don't know exact date, like, I'm, I know I'm horrible. That's a horrible boss thing, but I do not know how long. Um, it's been quite some time. Um, when I first started, I did farmhouse signs and then that market got so oversaturated and I actually at the same time decided that I loved the design world. I loved making the cut files instead of the actual sign because with the sign you have to do the wood, you have to have the materials. You have to ship, you have to do all these things, and it's like, all I have to do is make this digital design and I just put it up and people just buy it and I don't have to worry about doing anything after that, besides maybe some customer support. Um, and I've been doing that for the last 10 years, and in the last two years, COVID kind of hit, things kind of slowed down. Um, I know some of you, most of you probably already know how Etsy is. It's like an ever changing thing. And, um, I got to the point where I was making like $50 a day in digital files. And then all of a sudden they had one of their updates and my cells were gone. So ever since then, that's been probably about a year and a half ago. I have been struggling to try to get my sales back. I have been working nonstop on my Etsy shop, trying to upload, trying to uh, work on my SEO, which I have barely any clue how to deal with. I'm still learning. Um, but I'm just, I want to share my journey. And I know I'm not perfect. I'm not professional. I don't know everything. But if 
you seek help or just want to relate to my story and my situation and my journey, then I'm here. You know, like, ask me a question, I'll give you answers. I'll try the best that I can um, to help anybody out. Um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot, too. That's just a habit. <laughs> Um, but I'm here just to, to share my journey. I really want to get into character design and in the last six months, I'd say I started building some characters that I just like absolutely fell in love with. And from here on out, my main journeys are to get my brand into bigger box stores and just become more well known. Um, right now I think the problem is, is that I'm I'm not finding my audience and my audience isn't finding me. Um, <clears throat> and I've tried my best with social media and it's, it's a job in itself. And I know everybody can relate to that. It's just a job in itself to try to do that. And hopefully one day I can have somebody else do that part for me because <laughs> I suck at it. Um, but I just want to be able to share my journey, like I said, and I hope that you guys all love my designs and I'm here. I'm going to be teaching a little bit of like uh, Procreate uh, tutorials. That's what my main programs that I use. I have an iPad, um, seventh generation, I think is what it is. So it's not the super expensive model. It's like the basic cheat model. <laughs> I bought it three or four years ago and it's done me well. I've never bought an update because it's just, it does its it does its job. I don't need an iPad Pro or anything too expensive. Now buying printers and um, computers is another bad habit of mine. <laughs> um, I just invested into a Canon Pixma, so uh, that's why I say that. Um, but I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be sharing my illustrations. I'm gonna be sharing. I'm gonna have like a draw with me type thing sometimes. Um, I do not have a Patreon yet. I used to. I don't know if I'm going to get back into that or not. Um, but I will try to add like my links and stuff in the comments so that way you can see all my socials and where you can follow me at. Like I said, I'm going to try to do this once a week and just share little clips of me drawing, um, what I'm working on. I'm currently right now trying to get my spring line done for my stickers and like I said we've been sick for two months so I'm behind as usual so let's get into the drawing and I will say that I am a very messy color uh, my husband had asked me at one point, he's like, why do you do that? And I was like, I love erasing the excess. It's just gratifying for some reason. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I just love it. Um, and what I've done is I've just made it a layer underneath the actual um, outline and coloring it that way. That way I can erase the mistakes that I make if I overcolor. Um, I can just easily erase that and not have to worry about erasing the black lines. And I always, 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 always key, um, when you're saving out before you combine the layers, because I will eventually combine this layer with the outline when I'm done coloring it, always save an extra copy of that outline in case you decide to change the colors later. Um, or if like maybe there's a mistake that you happen to miss that you find later or just something in general that you want to change I always always make sure that I have a main copy of each illustration so if I, like I said if I want to change something or if I want to go back and I've like missed a small spot or something or made a mistake I can go easily go back and just uh, redo it
So I know I didn't have a whole lot of actual drawing in this video, which there will be. Um, I just had all these completed and I'm trying to get my spring line and some upcoming sticker sheets out because I have just been so away from my sticker shop for way too long. Um, there will be some more coloring going on in the next video and I will try to start um, sharing my drawing for the spring line. Now I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be putting in the spring line, but I know I'm going to have a bunny um, for Easter. I want to have uh, like a bumblebee. I want to have a frog. Um, what else? Um, I love weeping willows, so I might include a weeping willow in there. I know it's not really spring-ish, but I love them, so that might be included. Um, flowers, some sort of flower might be um, in incorporated into the illustration and I do have sorry my camera is like falling <laughs> um I do have a cow I have a couple cows actually um that I illustrated for Christmas time and I'm going to incorporate those into spring um now I'm not sure what kind of flower um Catnip kind of inspired me because she's done um, the cherry blossoms, and I love cherry blossoms, but we also have those, um, I'm not ex exactly sure what type of tree it is, but they call it the smelly tree <laughs> because it has a bunch of white flower blossoms all over it, and this stupid camera does not want to stay up. It's like being mean. Um... But they have white flowers all over them, so when they're in full bloom, they, they smell kind of bad. But it's absolutely beautiful, and it draws, like, a ton of bees. So I thought about maybe doing those tree blossoms as my part of my spring, and I might include, like, a duck. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet, but... Um, I know I want to get a head start on that, and I will also be designing my thank you card that I'm going to get sent out this week because I want to start having seasonal thank you cards with my sticker collections. Um, so, I'm going to get off here, but I will have a ton more to share with you tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow.